Hello everybody, today I'm bringing you another top 10 video on what I believe are the most screen accurate Jurassic Park and Jurassic World toys that have ever been made. Now there's been a lot of great Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys that have been released so far, but I think the best ones for me are the ones that look like they walked straight out of the screen or straight out of the film, and those are the ones that we're going to be focusing on today. So first up is the Ford Explorer that was seen in the first Jurassic Park film. And, you know, this thing isn't perfect. The wheels in the film were yellow, and the symbol on the front here was actually um, yellow as well and not red, like in the toy. But overall, I think it's a really good resemblance of the uh, Jeep that was seen in the films. You have the green colors and then the uh, yellow sort of blend towards the bottom of the vehicle and then you have of course the um, the front bumper protector here and even on the top you have the little headlights of course this camera wasn't in the film but you know it can't be perfect and there's the um, the detailing here on the side which looks almost exactly the same as the one that we saw in the film and like I said, it's not a perfect representation, but overall I think it really captures the um, look of the vehicle in the film. And, you know, considering how long ago it was made and considering it is made for kids and not necessarily a replica, I think they did do a really good job on this one. And this one's always been one of my favorite vehicles in the, uh, both in the films and of course in the toy line as well. So my next figure, I chose the Triceratops, also from the first Jurassic Park film. And I know that we haven't really gotten too good of a look at these creatures in the films because the first one was lying on its side, of course. It was the sick Triceratops. And then we saw them briefly in other films, but I'm really impressed by this one. Just a level of detail when you get up close with it, you see all the textured pebble type skin which is exactly how it appears in the film. Um, the color isn't perfect. I think the one in the film is more tannish rather than green, but I feel the green really suits the figure. Um, the face sculpt, of course, you have the beak type mouth and you know the big um, spiky crest here. And I think overall, it's just not only a fantastic figure, but it really just captures that feel and look of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park because they definitely do have a very distinct look and you can tell a generic dinosaur from a Jurassic Park dinosaur very easily and this one's definitely a Jurassic Park dinosaur and um, I think they really really did a great job on this one. Alright so up next we have the RV that was of course featured in the Lost World film and the Lost World toy line. And this is a really cool piece. Again, like I said with the Ford Explorer, it's not an exact replica by any means. You know, the one in the film didn't have this giant crane on the top and there are a lot of other details that are slightly off, but you know, just at a glance, you can tell exactly what uh, film this toy is from. I really like that they actually made this into a playset. Um, the colors, you know, they're slightly off. The one in the film was a little darker, but I love that they included the um, Fleetwood RV sticker right there. And, you know, there's a lot of details to appreciate on this thing. Again, it's not a perfect replica. You know, overall, it's a really great piece, and it definitely gives you that Jurassic Park vibe just by, you know, looking at it. So next on my list is the Baryonyx that was from the Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom line and the uh, most recent film. And as far as the new toys go, you know, there's a lot of them that look straight out of the films. A lot of really good ones, especially the uh, T-Rexes, but this one probably does one of the better jobs of resembling the um, dinosaur that we see in the films. There's not a whole lot of pictures online um, of this particular dinosaur currently, but from the uh, Jurassic World you know, evolution game, and you know, also just from memory, seeing this thing in the film, it really does look um, very similar in appearance to what we saw on the big screen. 
It's got very similar coloration and just overall, you know, the anatomy and stance and I mean, again, like I said with the Triceratops, this is a very, you know, Jurassic Park-esque, you could say, type of dinosaur where, you know, you look at it and you immediately know, even if you didn't know what type of dinosaur it was, you would know that it was from Jurassic Park. So the next figure I chose was the Legacy Spinosaurus, and I'm still trying to get my hands on this one. It's really hard to find at the moment, at least it is in the United States. But as far as all the um, past Spinosaurus that we've had, you know, from the Jurassic Park 3 line or whatnot, um, this one's definitely the best one. It's got, you know, colors that look exactly like the one from the film. Um, the sculpt is great. It's in scale with all the human figures and the, uh, you know, current line of Dinosaur Fallen Kingdom figures. And I really can't wait to get this one. Um, I definitely need a better Spinosaurus figure and this one looks, you know, exactly like as if it was a model that was used in the film and it turned out great. A lot of people are happy with it and I can't wait to get this one. So next up I wanted to uh, show off the Velociraptor Blue from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom line. This is the battle damage one from Walmart, but just about all of the ones that they released, um, they're all very similar, and I think they did a great job on this. Not only, you know, it's a really great Velociraptor um, sculpt in general. It's got quite a lot of articulation, as you can see, on the arm joints, the leg joints, the neck joint in particular. But I think this one really captures the uh, character blue from the both the Fallen Kingdom and the original Jurassic World uh, film. You even see the fantastic, you know, paint job that they did. The uh, blue streak going down the side of, or both sides of its body. And then the grayish um, color is also very detailed. You know, as you can see up close, they really did a great job. And considering this is only like a $10 figure, it's very impressive, the amount of uh, work and detail and the overall sculpt of it. It's just a great piece. Um, it really reminds me of the Velociraptor from the film, you know, it looks like it just jumped straight out of the uh, television and yeah, this one is definitely a great figure and um, certainly a uh, very, you know, very resemblant of the um, one that we see in the film. So next up is another vehicle and uh, another item from the first Jurassic Park film and this is a recent item that just came out along with the Fallen Kingdom toys It's of course part of the legacy collection and I really really love this thing. It just might be my favorite um, Vehicle that's been released so far for the, any Jurassic Park line just because of how realistic it looks uh, a lot of the toys, you know, they have the fancy guns on him or the little extra attachments and things for playability and it kind of takes away from the realism but this thing is just it looks straight out of the film I mean there's not a whole lot of complaints I wish the doors opened I wish there was a little more detail um, on the dashboard but aside from that it's a fantastic piece complete with a working uh, winch on the front you even have the you know Jurassic Park license plate right there and the tan little uh, I guess you'd call them roll bars I believe but uh, yeah this thing is amazing it definitely deserves a spot on this list it's you know perfect for the uh, new three and three quarter inch figures and and I bought two of these just because I like them so much and uh, yeah this one's great everyone should have one and it just looks almost flawless So next we have the menacing and sinister uh, Indoraptor. This one is of course the antagonist in the most recent film. And this is a great figure. Uh, it looks, you know, exactly like the one that we saw in the film. It's got the gold stripe running down the side, the glowing red eyes. Um, I believe the eyes were red in the film. I can't seem to remember now that I think about it, but um, this thing's got amazing articulation. You can put it in just about any pose that you can imagine. They also have the, um, I believe it's called the Grab and Growl Velociraptor, or Grab and Crow Indoraptor, 
which is featured right here. And they're both great. Uh, this one is slightly bigger and it's got less articulation um, in exchange for, you know, the grab and growl uh, features. But um, this one is very uh, lifelike to the one that we see in the film. It's just a great toy and a great representation of the Indoraptor or, you know, if this thing were to actually exist. So next up we have one of my personal favorites and that's the Mosasaurus. This one is from the Fallen Kingdom toy line. It was made just recently. Uh, the amount of detail in this one is fantastic. It reminds me a lot of the older Kenner type stuff with the real feel skin, which this one of course has as well. And I'm just really blown away and impressed by the sculpt and the amount of work and care that went into this figure. It's a great, fantastic piece. It's only $30, which is a great deal, and it looks, you know, almost like an exact replica of the um, animal that we see in the film. I'm really impressed by it, I'm really happy with it, and I feel like they just, you know, really nailed the uh, overall look and appearance of it. And it looks like it just, you know, swam right out of the television and uh, straight into your hands when you pick it up. So next up, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex, of course. This one had to be featured somewhere on the list. And I chose several of them. I would have also included the Thrasher T-Rex in the Lost World, but since I don't have that one, you know, I can only mention it. But I wasn't sure which one to choose out of these two because they're both very, very great figures and um, very good interpretations of the ones that we see in all the films. Uh, the Red Rex, the colors aren't very um, authentic to the ones we see on screen, but it's my understanding that this was a model that was based on the Stan Winston model, which of course he was the one who helped design the Jurassic Park T-Rex that we all know and love. Um, so I had to include this one, and if you compare it, you know, to the sculpts that they used on the sets or whatnot, it looks nearly identical to it. And of course, you know, the face and the um, overall just stature and uh, anatomy of it looks great and then of course we have the um, Fallen Kingdom Thrash and Throw T-Rex and this one is a very very good imitation as well I think the uh, colors on this one are a little bit more accurate if you just look at the face on this thing you know it just screams Jurassic Park and it looks you know nearly identical to the Jurassic Park T-Rex that we're all familiar with and that even the texture when you get really really close you can start to see it the detail on the skin it just really really it, it blows me away to think you know how much how well they did on this figure and um, again I would have included the Thrasher T-Rex as well because I think that you know the overall sculpt of that one is very reminiscent of the T-Rexes but um, these two, I think, you know, they get the point across, and they're both really, really great pieces. And if, you know, you're a fan of the T-Rex, uh, you should definitely pick one of these up. Alright guys, so that's my list for the top 10 uh, most screen accurate toys from Jurassic Park that have ever been made. Um, let me know, you know, if you agree, disagree. This is just my personal list. I'm aware that there are plenty of other great figures out there that are great representations of either vehicles or dinosaurs or even some of the human figures um, that, you know, look really similar to their film counterparts. I'll probably end up making another one of these videos if you guys like it, just to cover, you know, the rest of the dinosaurs and stuff that I couldn't include in this one. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, look forward to more videos to come in the future, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.